Unit 4 Morality in the Context of States Lesson 1 Understanding State and Government By considering the name of the lesson, you will know that in today's lessons you are going to learn about the basic concepts of state and government. State means a defined territory shared by a community and ruled by a single government. Government, a group of people who have the authority to govern, to create laws and to apply them. Constitution, the laws and the principles that govern a state, or you can say the collection of fundamental principles that guide the governance of a state. I need to go back here to make you understand that each state or each country has its own government and of course it has its own constitution. If you look at those pictures, all of those pictures are very important figures in the UAE government and I think that you can name them of course. Picture number one, this is his Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE President. Picture number two, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the UAE Prime Minister. And the last picture is His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. Please try to consider the other names of the UAE leaders. Here, by learning about the Federal National Council, you will discover the relationship between the public, the citizens, and the UAE government. The Federal National Council was established in 1971. In its very early first stage, it had only 40 members appointed by the, ruler, the rulers of the Seven Emirates. After 2006, there was a revision for the method, the method of selecting the representatives of the Emirates in the Federal National Council by combining the process of election and appointment. So the rulers in each seven Emirates would appoint half number of the members of the Federal National Council. Other representatives are going to be elected by different voters, I mean different citizens of the UAE. So you can choose your representative in the Federal National Council. As a regulation, there were a lot of certain rules that apply to function as a Federal National Council member. Of course, all of these are included in articles in the UAE Constitution. Examples, for example, when you are going to be a member of the Federal National Council, you have to have the civil capacity, good conduct, good reputation, adequate reading and writing knowledge, and so on and so forth. On the other hand, the voters have some rules also. For example, the family book or the Khulasat al Qaid is the benchmark which indicates the emirates to which the UAE national belongs. The voter must present the emirates ID. Each voter is entitled to cast only one vote for only one candidate. And you can, of course, if you have the chance or spare time, you can read them all. To support better communication between the federal national and the public, there is an app that has been developed and the name of this app is Wayakum, which means with you in Arabic. The app is ready to be launched that will enable, of course, the people to have a closer interaction with the Federal National Council members or voters and candidates. 
So you can say there will be a closer interaction between the public and the Federal National Council. What is the aim and the objectives of the Supreme Council Resolution Number no. 4 of 2006? If you remember, I told you that in 2006, the process of electing and choosing the Federal National Council representatives has had been revised. It aimed at providing the opportunity for the citizens to elect their representative in the Federal National Council. So in the past, they were chosen by the leaders of the UAE and of course after 2006 the process is opened for you so you can choose as member of the public or the citizens of the UAE you can choose your representative in the Federal National Council. Of course election show inclusion equality and justice. It show it show inclusion by the mutual trust between the rulers and the citizens and of course the government's intention to maintain social and economic growth hand in hand with its people equality by giving by giving an equal opportunity to all candidates to become members and justice by giving the public the right to vote for whoever they believe can represent them in the council so this is the idea of having having sorry the uh, uh, regulations regarding choosing or regarding electing your representative in the Federal National Council. If you focus with me on this quote from Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, may God have mercy on his soul, the process of constitution and development requires the efforts not only of the government but also all the citizens of the UAE. By considering this quote carefully, you will notice that Sheikh Zayed is talking about the relationship between the government and the citizens. He is encouraging the citizens to share responsibility for the development of the country. He is also saying that the government should take care of the citizens and they all have the right to good to a good standard of living however or on the other hand each citizen has also to be respectful of the laws of the country the uae and by being respectful to the laws you are supporting the uae leaders in their efforts to build the country and this country of course by being a peaceful one a safe one you are going to be proud of it that's all for today so the main focus here is that citizens and government had mutual respect duties and responsibilities thank you for listening and goodbye